I was an adult when I was infected. This is 2021. We have to get an understanding and get that message out there. We are not really a problem, you know, we are the solution to the problem. And, and once people focus on us as the solution to the problem, this whole thing about HIV spreading, it's going to, it's going to dwindle. HIV was first described in Trinidad and Tobago in 1983. When the HIV response was established, the majority of advocacy targeted stigma and discrimination of people living with HIV in the community, workplace and health spaces. PLHIVs need to have a seat at the table because we are the only ones who could actually bring body and good evidence as to what it is we're going through, what it is we want, how we want it done. Because for far too long, we have had people doing things for and on behalf of us, and they don't really get the message across. So once PPLHIVs have a seat at the table and able to give their ideas, yes, we will be on our way to, to getting true advocacy. The NSCC has commissioned research and partnership with external partners to support guiding existing policies and laws as we achieve the goal of ending AIDS by 2030. We have facilitated human rights training for service providers in health, administration of justice, sensitization of the public, and commissioned research to gather additional information for review of existing policies and laws. You, you want the people who know and who are living a life and who are there, you want them to be there to directly convey that message to you because I've seen it happen too many times where you know, you would say something in a session, but when you hear the report or you, you, you see it afterwards, you realize, but that's not what I said. That's not the information I wanted to, to, to give over. So at the end of the day, having people at the table, you get a better understanding of what it is they actually want. Some visible manifestations of these include the HIV workplace policy established by the Ministry of Labor, elements of the Equal Opportunity Act, and the Patient Charter of Rights as established by the Ministry of Health. The work is far from over. We have some additional opportunities around policies related to the most vulnerable, which we must address using a public health approach to ensure that we maintain this enabling environment. We need to start using social media because that, that is what that is where the youth function. You know, having an advocate stand up on the street or do a meeting, yeah, that is one thing. But social media is something that, that reaches the people. And when 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 you when you start to talk via social media, it, it's a wider spread. So you actually get more people listening to you because social media is, is actually ex exciting. So the, everybody looking for the next Twitter or the, or, or, or the next TikTok or something like that. So you, you could bring it in in that aspect. And this is what the youths reckon with. These are the things that they look at. Now, when you do a normal program, they, they, they're, not, they're not going to look at it. They're not going to look at it. They will consider it boring. So we need to spice up. We need to add things that they reckon with, you know, things that they know is happening now. And this is the best way. So social media is the way to go. And, you know, the community at large, would then understand that this agency is really understanding what their needs are and working for the betterment of them.
We just need to engage people more. And I, I really want to say, I want to make sure that the little children, those children that are growing up with HIV, they're not supposed to go through this problem of discrimination and stigmatization when they reach my age.